just got through watching Black Panther Wakanda Forever and I gotta say it was a very artsy movie very heartfelt tribute to Chadwick Boseman um, a lot of people didn't get it but that's to be under it, it's very understandable because 90% of the audience were people that didn't look like me I actually had to confront somebody behind me who said the movie was stupid just because there wasn't enough action scenes I, I, I asked them no, I'm like, what didn't you stupid. like about the movie? What was stupid about it? There weren't enough girl fights. I'm like, well, the purpose of the movie was unification and bringing two people together and mourning, mourning a loss and, and moving sense. past it. And it made sense though. You know? Because listen to this, you know how like black people and I'm like, like, you know how black people and Latinos are literally against each other. It's like in this movie, it's like it showed that. It showed us fighting and then got together, kind of. And For like, spoiler, like, spoilers, a little bit. Not really, we're not going to spoil the whole movie, but watch the movie. Very good movie. That's I give it a 9 out of 10. It really put Chadwick Boseman to rest. He would have been Both proud of it. You just, you just uh, and it. there's a special but surprise at the end understand. for everybody that uh, cares about the future of the franchise. Black Panther Wakanda Forever was a great movie. I'm actually glad I went to go see it because I wasn't going to go see it because I thought they were going to move it in another direction that I wouldn't like. But they actually did it justice. They actually made a very good, heartfelt movie. I just have to say for all of y'all out there who are more sympathetic towards the colonization side of things, it wasn't for y'all. It's not for y'all. It's not, it's not for you to get. It's not for you to get. It's for people who are more interested in our history and the history of colonization as a whole and the history of indigenous people um, and the unification of those types of people. So that's what Black Panther Wakanda Forever really is to me. It's a, a very good movie that did Chadwick Boseman justice and really put his memory, uh, made sure it was long lasting, you know? That's all I can say about it. I mean, I'm irritated that a lot of people didn't get the movie, but that's what movies are for. There's gonna be differences of opinion, but just for you to say flat out that the movie is stupid just shows grand ignorance on your part, and it shows a lack of understanding of the depth of what you just watched or didn't watch, you know. But uh, that's really all I have to say about it. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting, the differences of opinion. Uh, when you watch like the same thing you know but whatever it is what it is i enjoyed the movie nine out of ten go see it adding on um man the silence really speaks um when you realize that the person is gone and they're not coming back and you'll never hear their voice again and all you have is the memory all you have are the visuals just echoes of the past you know this movie really deals with grief and mourning it really deals with grief and mourning loss memory uh, making sure that people's memories live on and just learning how to balance all of that and not being so angry at the world when somebody you deeply care about passes on it's a really deep movie a lot of people may see marvel or disney you know marvel specifically and think oh this is just gonna be another superhero movie no nah, i always knew it was gonna be much deeper than that and I, I gotta admit i was very hesitant to seeing the movie like i was very hesitant about going to see it for so long like two years now because chadwick is gone man so i was like what are they gonna do without black panther they can call it black panther but not have the black panther t'challa but the mantle is so much deeper than the person wearing it. Yeah, they're gonna have to live up to that. All their forebearers, the people that came before them that held the mantle. So that's what this movie was about. All of that, like it's such a deep movie. It's like, I can go on for forever about the movie, you know, but it was also about, as I said previously, it was about the colonization of people and unification it's about getting over grief and loss and it's about you know doing your your ancestors proud all the people that came before you your, your forebearers don't do anything that they wouldn't do like you know 
it was much deeper. I'm going to go see the movie again. I'm going to watch the movie again, most likely. Um, it was just so powerful, man. It's going to be a minute because it was just like you can't handle all of those emotions. Like I've dealt with a lot of loss this year myself. I'm going to be dealing with a lot more. You know, it's the human experience. And this movie really captured the human experience. And like I said, like it's, it's the silence that speaks volumes, man. There were so many scenes in this movie, like even the beginning, not trying to spoil it, but like there's a moment of silence for Chadwick. And it's just like a long silence where you just see him on the screen. You realize we lost something great. Like we lost the Black Panther, you know, we lost a really good man so early and it just is hard to really grasp that you know it doesn't set in it still hasn't set in man it was 2019 wasn't it or uh no it was it was 2020 and i still haven't gotten over it man he was he was a one of a kind actor once in a generation type of star you know and as far as i know there's no scandals on the man or anything that has come out there's nothing on the man like he was a good guy he didn't even want people to know about his illness that's how good of a guy he was he didn't put his burdens on the world he didn't put his his pain on others shoulders you know and that's really what this movie is memorializing him and it's a tribute to him and his memory and i must say ryan coogler and and the whole cast the the whole crew everybody directors producers uh cinematographers um writers everybody from the bottom of my heart Th this movie was one of the few that actually made me stand up and clap and it got me emotional to the point where i had to turn around like i said earlier this guy said the movie was stupid i'm like emphasize your point a little bit more like go more in depth of why you think something's stupid like you thought all of after all of that after all that you're going to insult the memory of a man they did this movie for the memory of a man that brought happiness and joy to a lot of people's lives that will never forget him brought happiness and joy to a lot of people's lives when he was going through pain and suffering and still managed to do that and you're going to sit up here and insult the memory of this this man and everybody that's worked on this movie by just summing it up as stupid. And then I asked him, so why? I turned around. So why do you think it's stupid? This was an Asian guy too. So this is like, I'm like, aren't you supposed to be smart? I'm not trying to stereotype or nothing, but aren't you, are you just trying to do this to fit in with your little white friends here? Cause they were all dogging on, on the movie, like just ganging up on the movie. Like this movie, it wasn't enough action. So why do you think it was stupid? It wasn't enough girl fights, which is totally untrue. There's a lot of action scenes and everything in the movie um but that's not the main focus obviously it's going to have action scenes but the main focus of the movie was it really was unification of two peoples letting go of vengeance and anger and learning how to move on not move on but deal with grief and mourning better you know mourning loss you're never going to really truly move on but things do get better as you you move on and you you live according to what you think they would have wanted you to do in life, you know, the people that you really care about, would they have wanted you to behave this way? Would you, would they have wanted you to do this? You know, it really covers a lot of that. And that really helps you move along in life. It's like, they wouldn't want you to sit stagnant and just worry about all the negativity and, and, you know, the loss. They wouldn't want you to just sit, you know, um, in grief, you know, get up out of the funk. And do something good in their memory. That's what this whole movie was about. And there's so much more that it was about. You're just going to have to go watch it. Trust me when I say this movie was. It was a masterpiece. And I, I think if anything. It should win an Oscar. It should really win an Oscar. And I really enjoyed the movie. It was it was deep. It almost got me a couple. Like I'm not really a crier. <laughs> um, but it really. In my own way. I was mourning as well because I, I went through the whole series watching this man 
play a character who was one of my favorite comic characters of all time. He really brought the character to life. And then we lost him just like that. And I, I, I sat up and I watched all his movies as he was coming up. Everything, you know, I watched all his movies, the James Brown movie that I, I knew about a lot of his movies. Like I was watching them as he was making them. And you never knew he was sick. I never knew he was sick. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. A silent battle. So, I will say that this movie, it does Namor justice as well. Namor the Submariner, the first mutant, the first Marvel superhero, too. For those of you who don't know, came out around the same time as Superman in 1939, I believe. Um, they really do him justice. They change his history a little bit, which is understandable because... For one, there's a lot of Atlanteans out there now. You know, you got Aquaman in DC, so they had to separate them from that. And then you got this new Avatar 2 movie coming out where that's going to take place underwater as well with a lot of blue people. You know, Atlanteans are blue usually too in, in Marvel. Um, so they had to separate him and they, they did a pretty good job. They uh, I, li I like the cultural um, aspects of the movie. I think it's going to really unite people of color once Latin indigenous people realize the history um, that they share with black people and, and African American people, people of African descent, I feel like this movie is going to open a lot of people's eyes and realize we're all the same. We're, we all come from the same people and we really just need to unite and just be the human race. And it shouldn't just all be about this, this race stuff, you know, Everybody has their share of the land. Everybody should just, you know, be happy, move on from all this negativity. So I know it's wishful thinking, but, you know, this movie really uh, shows you a lot about life, the world. It's not just a typical superhero Marvel movie. And I recommend you all to go see it. Black Panther Wakanda forever.